sunrise in the morning, from the six to nine. And then you also get the sunset. It's also from the six to nine. Then you get the last there. I can. Really? I'm not going to do that. A lot of people say, oh, it's not going to do that. Yeah, it's very much. On September 27th through the 28th, 2014, Long Beach held its annual Long Beach Comic Con, which was held at the Long Beach Convention Center. People couldn't get enough of the people dressed as certain cosplay characters from movies, TVs, video games, as well as comic book characters. There was a lot of activity going on outside as well as inside as people would mingle and talk amongst each other as well as take pictures of the famous cosplay characters. Normally at certain Comic Cons, we're not allowed to stand in one place, but at the Long Beach Comic Con, we're more than welcome to enjoy the fun-filled activities going on in the convention. Uh, you're valid. So what's your top comic book here? Uh, the top comic book here right now, I would say, is Exo Man of War. It's the longest running series that Valiant currently has. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, Visigoth warrior who is abducted by aliens and then he retrieves this sacred suit of armor and comes back to Earth to realize it's centuries later. Oh! And he has no idea where he fits in it. Oh, interesting. Okay. What's this comic book about? The Taking of Eden. Taking Eden is the story of a small town girl mm -hmm. who uh, saves up all summer long to move to the big city with her cousin. Her cousin's a gothic DJ in a series of nightclubs. The owner of the nightclubs is a sorcerer who's abducting young women, mm -hmm. using magic to steal their innocence, which he then makes into a drug called Eden and oh. sells back to patrons of the clubs. Okay. So it's kind of a coming of age story, uh, a lot of romance, a little bit of serial killing, a little bit of drug use, you know, a fun Saturday night. Okay. So you have some nice beautiful accessories from vintage video games. I see like the mushroom and the, what else is it? And certain video games. So what's the website about? Um, well, with me, I'm just, my name's Kim. I've decided that I want to turn my cosplay and my hobbies into something a little bit more fun and out there. So I'm actually partnered up with the Keeping It Nerdy website and with Capes. Mm -hmm. And all of the proceeds that we sell here at Long Beach Comic Con this weekend are actually going to help St. Jude's. Oh, really? So we're, yeah, we're partnering up. We do photo shoots. We do news articles. I'm just going to follow up with everything so that we can go ahead and help out good causes like this. Okay. And meet, meet people and have fun. And we like to partner up with other cosplayers and get together for and also do the photo shoots together. Okay, all right. Huh. So basically there's a lot of technology coming out this year. So which do you, what do you call this and what's it about? This is the Wacom Cintiq 13H, 13HD. Um, it's a pen tablet, mm -hmm. so it has uh, 4,000 levels of pressure sensitivity, mm -hmm. um, and people use it for all different kinds of things like illustration, animation, and okay. Photoshop retouching. Okay, so it's kind of like a mini tablet, like the ones you see out in modern day, right? Well, it's more of a professional tablet for professional artists. Okay. There were over 50 vendors that have taken part in this year's Comic Con. The Long Beach Comic Con was not all about just comic books. There were also people that showcased their artistic visuals, such as their sketches, drawings, and their paintings. is that it's just one single line, one continuous line. I have two rules, it doesn't cross, it doesn't touch. Um, and then what happens is when someone viewing it, your brain puts the rest of the picture in. Uh -huh. Is this going to be on ABC? 
Anyway, uh, this is our new webcomic, and there's a new page every week, mm -hmm. and it's absolutely free. We start mm -hmm. October 31st, and after we get about 22 or 24 pages, we'll be doing a print run. Uh -huh. And uh, so it's a beautifully illustrated story, as well as being a very good story, so you get two for the price of one. You, All don't, right. get, you don't get beautiful artwork and a lousy story, or uh, uh, wonderful story and lousy artwork. You get, you get everything in this package. Pretty, very pretty. So what's the inspiration for the artwork that you created? Generally, I don't really take inspiration from things to create things. I try and do it with as little outside influence as possible. Oh, okay. So. Because it's, it leaks in no matter what, but there's only so much you can do to make our own art. Hi, so what is the uh, storyline with the Empire of the Wolf? Anyone? Uh, Empire of the Wolf is a story of uh, it's basically the story of werewolves in ancient Rome, mm -hmm. and it's about two centurions. They each get bitten by a werewolf in, in England, and they go back to Rome, and one turns bad, and the other turn, you know, struggles with being good, mm -hmm. and they're they're fighting for the woman they both love while Rome is falling around them. And he's, he's awesome. So, what, what is it about your artwork that you describes your beautiful texture and colors? Uh, well. Uh, I just go with uh, I just go with feeling like when I'm when I'm doing any type of composition I think of the mood the theme of what's going on and so for any particular uh, for any particular print it really depends on that like say for my Trinity piece right here uh, I really wanted to go with you know a, a, a nice blue hue and so as you can see you know blue really dominates the the piece and you can even see some blue highlights on Wonder Woman herself and it gives like more of an extraterrestrial feel a non lifelike feel and so it adds to the drama of each piece. So that's kind of the take I take with uh, every piece that I do. Okay. Like that you guys are going to love talking and speaking. Long Beach Comic Con is definitely the place to be for people that like to showcase their creativity. It is also a place to meet and greet and be wrapped around in their own comic book fantasy. I would like to say thank you for watching. If you would like to attend the Long Beach Comic Con 2015, you can go to their website shown below. Have a good day and I hope to see you all next time.